Rebecca Stevenson, head coach over here at Tradition Barbell. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna be releasing a few short videos going over our weightlifting etiquette and team expectations. Most of you guys already do this in the gym. We just wanted to kind of reiterate it and then have you guys, our veterans, help some of our newbies come in and help create a culture and environment that we're trying to create to help each training session and practice run the best it can. One of the things we wanted to go over first was please respect the coach and the programming. So that just means please be receptive to our guidance. That's why you're here, right? So that could mean maybe a coach needs to change a movement for you during practice or perhaps deload the barbell a little bit more. Now we know deloading the barbell for an athlete could sound terrible, meaning I'm not strong enough to do this, this is gonna affect my whole programming. If I deload now, I will be able to lift this on competition day. That's not the case. You deloading that day is not gonna affect the whole cycle and is gonna affect you eight to 12 weeks later. The reason a coach would ask that is because maybe you're not moving the way we need you to do or what we've been working on with you for weeks or months and deloading the barbell allows an athlete to move more efficiently with lighter load. Just remember, we're here to help you grow. That is our number one goal at the end of the day is to make sure that you guys can become the best athletes possible. The second thing we wanted to go over was let the coaches coach. We know you guys want to help, however, it can be confusing for an athlete that's been working with their coach one-on-one -on, -one on specific cues and corrections. So an example of that could be perhaps you see your fellow teammate lift and you see something in their technique that maybe needs some work and you could have seen something correctly. However, that might not be what the athlete has been working on with their coach and they're already thinking about one to three things and now you could have added a fourth and a fifth cue on top of that. And it can be pretty overwhelming. You guys know yourself what it is to remember your own cues and corrections and then having to perform them during the lift. Now that doesn't mean that we don't want you guys to cheer each other on and to motivate each other. We definitely do. However, let's just think about leaving the technical cues and the corrections and things like that up to the coach. This is going to ensure that each athlete is going to be able to focus on whatever they've been working on with their coach for the last few weeks and the last few months. <laughs> 